What's up everyone? Next up is the rear axle build. And uh, this one really kind of gave us a little bit of a headache. Uh, the plan initially was, well, it always was that I wanted to have a 35 spline uh, rear axle. So what uh, you know, typical people do is they'll bore out the spindles and uh, you're good to go. You're able to fit a 35 spline axle shaft into the axle housing. What I didn't realize was that my uh, Dana 60 rear axle was kind of a late 60s, early 70s uh, Dana 60 axle. And really the biggest difference there was the spindle on a typical Dana 60. It'll have um, kind of a, a thicker outer and then it kind of necks up. So really when you're boring it, you only need to bore in roughly a couple inches. Mine being a different model, actually the entire length of the spindle was that same diameter. So it would have taken me forever to bore through the whole thing. So instead, kind of plan B, we cut off the spindles. Um, then we basically bought the rough stuff uh, 14 bolt spindles uh, onto the Dana 60 housing. And from there, we had to do some machining to kind of get it to fit into the axle tube. Um, really needed to then figure out what we we're gonna do for hubs because uh, having to chop off the existing spindles made the axle housing a little narrower than I would have liked. So um, what we then researched, uh, then researched was as far as different 14 bolts um, hubs that I can use on the, um, the spindles that I purchased from Rough Stuff and found out that uh, on single rear wheel, they have uh, a single rear wheel applications. They have an outboard hub, uh, which I'll post a picture of and um, basically those outboard hubs uh, make the wheel mounting surface to wheel mounting surface wider than the traditional 14 bolt hub. So that was the best bet for us. We ended up going that route. It was just kind of a lot of uh, scratching our head for a little while there until we figured that out. And uh, from there, the build continued. So once we were done with the spindles, installing those, um, we then uh, got a rough stuff uh, brake kit. And um, from there, uh, my buddy Tom, who's doing you know all the fab work on this build, had to make some brackets in order to uh, attach the, that uh, brake kit onto the axle. Uh, I did go with the Eldorado calipers. Uh, those have a um, uh, built-in uh, parking brake, and that's something I really wanted on my So now that the rear axle is complete, uh, next step we're going to be uh, loading up the Jeep and uh, bring that over to Tom's and kind of really get the uh, build started. 